Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam. I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator from London. So today I thought I'd show you my Louis Vuitton collection. It's all pretty much menswear and it's a nice small collection of staple stuff. Um, I've been building this collection from probably 10 years now. Um, I've loved Louis Vuitton since I can remember and I used to watch these videos and absolutely love them. So I thought I'd make my own. I'm gonna try and do this in chronological order as much as possible, so the things I bought earliest into most recent. The first item I ever bought, I actually don't have it anymore, it was a little business card holder and it just had like a little flap, it was really simple and instead of business cards I just put in my cards and cash and whatever and it was really cute. At the time I think it was like £130, I think they still do it now but with a button and some of the like lining around the side of the piping of I don't know what you call it, but it was kind of like coming away. So I went and replaced, got it replaced. And then when I got it replaced, I got a new receipt with it. And I was like, oh, I'm actually gonna change this in and pay more and get a bag. So that's what I did with that. But I do have my second Louis Vuitton purchase, which is this Demier Abine key clay. So you've all probably seen this before. It's just a little key pouch with a key ring on the end and I've got some other stuff on here, but inside I have like my IDs, loyalty cards, a um, bit of cash, um, all of that, so it's very handy. And then on the other end, uh, I have this Louis Vuitton four key holder, and this is very old, I bought this vintage, um, and I got it for a very, very good price, so I thought, why not? Um, and I just keep my kind of like post room keys, um, and stuff like that on there, um, and then, so I keep my keys just handy on here, and then I have this little wire, which is like really handy, it's like a little USB wire, um, for, you know, little emergencies. Next up, we've got this, which I think I bought this in like 2015, and it is the Vertical Zippy Coin Purse, and it is a very handy little wallet, silver hardware, nice little zipper pull, and it opens like this. Louis Vuitton Paris in there. Has a central card compartment, probably your most used card. And then it has two big compartments, two card holders here and two card holders here. And yeah, very handy wallet. Uh, obviously you can fit coins, notes, everything else in here. So for a little men's zippy wallet, this is a good Fine, I'm actually selling this because I've got a new wallet, so if anyone wants to buy it off me, let me know. Next up we have my Keepall 55 bandolier, which is so gorgeous. I got this for Christmas when I was 15 maybe, which is pretty crazy, but I wanted this bag so bad. And, ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. Uh, it's worn quite a lot, like I don't think that really matters with these. Like they're meant to be worn, they're meant to like last a lifetime. Um, but yeah, I think it looks better as well that it's when it's got the black leather um, in terms of wear and tear because the, I think it's Vachetta leather, um, obviously stains and marks come up a lot easier. Um, it just has the little luggage tag with SB on it um, and the strap. It has the maroon colour inside just like my wash bag. But yeah, you can fit a whole lot in here. You can fit like a whole long weekend, sometimes even a week if it's like summer, and you've got summer clothes, you can fit a lot in here. I have used this Keeple so much over the years. It is just very practical. I think now they make the straps like a little bit comfier because my sister has one, but it's a 45. Um, and I've used that before. And the shoulder strap is just a lot more comfy and squishy rather than like hard kind of rubber. So next we have my wash bag, which was the larger size of these, and I bought this in Rome when I was 16 or 17. Um, and it has two zipper pulls either side, which is nice, and it has all the black leather, uh, which I really love. Um, it's got all my stuff inside, but it's got like a maroon interior that's kind of like washable. I just have like all my stuff in here, like I have little mini shampoos and conditioners and body washes and all of that. I just have like mini things in here. This has one very large compartment and then it has two little slithers down the side and the other side it's got two little expandable things that you might want to like put bottles in. 
Um, I just keep lots of mini things in here um, and if I'm going to the gym I'll take this with me and I obviously use it when I'm traveling. It's a very handy wash bag, very good size and it looks really masculine with the black leather which I really like. So these match perfectly which is very cute which is the whole idea. So we have my soft mini trunk which is a beautiful little bag. Uh, this was purchased two years ago I think and I got this second hand because it's like 2800 or even more now to buy new and I'm like I'm not spending that money well I did just spend that amount of money on a different bag but back then I was like I'm not spending that so I got this for like 1600 on Vestia Collective uh, which is very cool um, it has the black leather this imprinted leather which I just love it has all the black hardware um, chain and leather strap and this is just a perfect everyday bag evening bag uh you can fit like a big portable charger in here your wallet sunglasses all of the essentials especially for summer if you're on holiday uh it's just can fit everything you need in it I love how modern this feels but also very classic with all the trunk detailing i just think this is a very good staple bag for a guy even a girl um, I love the black hardware but as you can see it does come away a little bit over time but I don't really mind it, it still looks great and that's that. Next I have two pairs of sunglasses for you, I'll show you the first ones I got. So these I bought also off Vestia Collective because you just couldn't get them anymore and they are these. These were just before Virgil became the creative director so I think it was still Kim Jones. Um, and they're like the iridescent mirrored sunglasses and it says Louis Vuitton on this side and it just has the LV logo on the other side and they're just like really cool and really fun. Like I don't wear them like barely ever but I just know there'll be a time or opportunity for me to wear them that would be really fun and everything kind of comes back around with fashion so yeah. And secondly we have my favourite sunglasses of all time which are the 1.1 Millionaires. When it was my 21st birthday in Paris, I bought these, because these are the first ones I saw with silver hardware rather than gold. And they're like this blue marbled. Um, and I just love how the light reflects off the flat lens. Like they're just gorgeous. And I've been wearing them a lot recently because I bought them a few years ago now. and. I've been more into my like Balenciaga, Alien-esque sunglasses. And then I've actually realized I just love, 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 love these. Uh, so yeah, very, very pleased with these. Next we have this Louis Vuitton fragrance, which I probably bought about a year ago, which is Le Sable's Roses. This smells absolutely gorgeous. Like if there was a scent that was me, it would be this. Um, it doesn't last as long as some of the other ones, but it is still very strong and other people pick it up more than me. Um, yeah, beautiful fragrance. Coming into more of my recent purchases I've made this year, uh, we have the Louis Vuitton Passport cover, which is pretty plain and simple. Uh, you've got some card slots in here. I've got my initials there, like very faintly. Where is it? I've got my initials in there, kind of just imprinted. Um, obviously fits your passport in there. Um, very handy, very cute. Next we've got my new wallet which is the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organiser and this is the new collection with Kids Super and I think this pattern is called the Portrait um, and how how cool is this? I've got my cards in here, Louis Vuitton Paris and yeah this like deep brown which is just really gorgeous and yeah. I just love it. It's kind of like it's kind of like a tan camo, which I'm really into, and it's just very unique, and I love it. And last of all, we've got my pride and joy, which is my Louis Vuitton Keep All 25 blown up, which is my newest purchase. Which I made a video on this recently, and everyone was loving it. Um, not many people have this. It is very rare at the moment, and it's hard molded, and it's just oh. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Uh, fits a whole lot in there. Beautiful strap and gold hardware, which is my first gold hardware item from Louis, actually. And it's so cute. So cute. That's all of my Louis Vuitton items. What do you think of this collection? Let me know down in the comments which is your favourite item. Uh, do you think there's anything I'm missing? Do you think there's anything that needs to go? Also, let me know down in the comments which is your favourite item in your collection. 
If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at samscottbills and on TikTok as well. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.